September 17 is something that you need to be aware because the eclipse is coming. This eclipse can help you manifest your dream. If you are having issues financially during this eclipse, I'll be performing this ritual together with the Sri Yantra to unlock all your dreams and desire, especially with attracting more money to help you unlock all your financial abundance. If you want a solution to all your financial problems, you better visit my website, eatreadlove.me, and join the thousands who's already pre-ordered. Valentine's in September. Might as well be with Venus in your first house. <laughs> okay, we will see Sal. Okay, well, um, welcome to my channel. We're doing a reading. Um, the eclipse is here, and if there is something that you are manifesting, Let's just say relationship or you're just tired of that relationship <laughs> or many problems. You let me know because I'm energizing the Sri Yantra on the day of the eclipse itself. That's why today is the last day. And there are certain things, of course, that you should be concerned during the eclipse. The do's and don'ts. I have made that video. It's going to be uh, there in the Manifestation Masters. So I encourage you, of course, to join um, and then you will be able to see it. Okay, today's the last day, guys. Okay, let's see. Let's do your turtle. This is just an energy check-in. Ooh, okay. Venus is going to be in Libra on the 17th. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. I'll take that. What's the next one? Four of Swords. Okay. Good. We know that the Libra can be very much about pentacles, 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 right? So we attract it. Okay. Um, if I were, the, if I were a Libra, okay, which I have, I have very, very, very favorable planets in Libra. Uh, and I'm teaching you, and we're together right now, and you're going to ask me, Sal, how is it, okay, on my end, you're asking me this question, you can attract what, whatever I have, you know, whatever I have. Well, it starts. Uh -huh. It starts with thinking about nothing is impossible. Uh -huh. But this is not like you're going to be in the mode of um, uh, I forgot what it's called, like false. Like it's like oh, you know, it's like you're overly optimistic, like that. You know, I can be overly optimistic, yes. Um, but it starts from there. It starts from programming the mind. It starts from understanding that, um, you know. Like, there's so many things that is good. And that's what you should focus on and not the not so good. Four of Swords, you're contemplating. Wheel of Fortune, there's something good that you're, that you're attracting. So this Wheel of Fortune for you, okay, um, Libra, is this Venus in the first. There's two benefic planets, v Jupiter and then Venus. There's two malefic, Saturn and then Mars. Rahu is neither nor. And K2 Rao, and then Moon and Mercury, they're, you know, they're, they swing, okay? Sun is not malefic. It is, you know, in Gemini, okay, just in case you're wondering. But from what I'm seeing here, I digress, with Venus in the first house, this is the time that you can definitely attract things to you. According to wonderful Vedic astrologer Joni Patri, Venus is the planet of billionaires. And I strongly believe in that. Mm hmm. Because that's a good news, okay? <laughs> that Venus is a planet of billionaires. Why not? You know? And I have good placements for Venus. <laughs> it's a saying. Uh, um, you probably were going to go now in uh, rest and relaxation. This is a month where you need to understand that it took... Uh, Venus can go retrograde also, of course. Uh, it's a different um, transit, meaning how long, how long... It's not 12 months. I forgot how long it is. Sometimes it's 30-something days. But once Venus is in the first, okay, um, this is the time where opportunities can come to you with the Wheel of Fortune. And it's involving about how you look, really. Uh, meaning you can capitalize on your assets, Sal. Yes, your assets. Use those assets to bring this opportunity to you. Okay. Now, have I ever... Well, I've seen someone who's Venus in the first. They're good-looking, but that's just being in the first. Imagine being a Libra and then Venus is in the first. I can, like... You're probably like, damn, okay? Wheel of Fortune, like an empress, okay? Now, Venusian, okay, qualities, 
just in case people are asking, what is beauty then? Uh, beauty in, you know, in astrology, she is curvy. Okay? She's curvy. You know? Because curvy like that is healthy. Okay? Like it's ready for copulation. <laughs> no, it's true. Copulation to population. Because it symbolizes health. Okay? Okay. A lot of murmur outside your life. You're shutting down on people's drama because they bring to you five of wands. Six of pentacles right here could be involving money. I see you. Your life on your own is good, but then there are people who makes it a mess. All right, let's see. Okay, why is my monitor? Okay, I hope that I'm still recording because okay, cause it was frozen. Okay, mm -hmm. I see. Um, there's someone who's gonna ask for a chance. The eclipse that is coming is so strong that this is your chance to get out of your financial stress. Great gurus from all over the world knows about this ancient Sri Yantra that if you use it, if you want fast results, in my experience, using Eclipse is the best time to manifest. And you combine the Sri Yantra, you will be so surprised. I will be performing a specific ritual with a prayer that will energize this yantra, this eclipse, visit my website, eatreadlove.me. This is gonna express their love to you. They wanna win you back. The two of you haven't been in touch. There has been some, quite an argument, I'm seeing it here. So here is looking the Fool and the Ten of Cups. This is a person who's asking, uh, who's expressing their feelings to you. They probably didn't ex uh, express it to you before. But now they're here with the Ten of Cups. And then the Fool is um, is your person. They're going crazy about you. But you have walked away from this situation a long time ago. But then with Venus in the first, you are definitely attracting this now. So you're turning the wheel towards you. Mm -hmm. And it's, this is something that you are manifesting. You're done. You're tired of not being abundant in life. And you want to be a magnet. Where the Sri Antram, today is the last day to get it. This right here, okay, I will energize it for what your intention is. But this is for financial freedom most, mostly when I'm energizing it. So I'm just letting you know. Today's the last day to get it together with everything here, of course. Everything essential for you to manifest and to attract. Now the eclipse is happening in your sixth house. So if you want to pay off your debts, credit cards, all those things, you let me know. That can help you because that's the six of pentacles. So one thing that uh, we can do when we energize it is to remove all those that say bye-bye, okay? Because sixth house is that house, okay? So I have uh, done um, remedies for that, uh, different remedies. Uh, I was able to, um, this is like for someone else, six-figure debt, gone. Mm -hmm. It works like magic, okay? But there are certain rules to follow. What I mean by that, I share that in Manifestation Masters. It's down there. Four of Wands, relationship, commitment, coming your way. Stronger than ever. Damn, Sal. All the signs, well, I feel like major, half and half right now. With the eclipse coming, it's half are doing good and half are doing, I don't know what their choices in life is. I'm just saying. <laughs> but you're doing good, Libra. You're doing good. The relationship with Saturn retrograde in uh, fifth house. A lot of, um, let's just say, reviewing, reanalyzing. Um, there's a lot of, um, like, emotionally, like, kind of check and balance for you. Okay. And then you have here the Four of Wands. You provide security. So, nonetheless, you're a security officer, security guard. No, but you are, um, we call this like, uh, haligi ng tahanan. We call it, haligi is like the limbs or the pillars, the pillars of the, ho the home. So, you are that kind of individual who makes sure everything is, okay, like every aspect of the relationship is well. And this is the reason why you stand um, you, you know, you stand uh, tall among the rest. Be ready as far as relationship is concerned. It's coming. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
this is the part whoever you're dating this is gonna be it now if it's about manifesting a home we're gonna pay off your debts first because that's what I'm seeing here and by 2025 I, I promise the other sign so zip it no I'm not gonna do the forward forward for three I'm seeing it um, it's gonna be in the next year that you will find more security and materialization of your home um, a new home or paying off your mortgage in the next uh, from 2025 26 27 I see it here now I'm just moving the planets uh, I feel good I'm just trying to um, um, at that time also um, you're gonna be very very healthy as well which is good um, during the time there's gonna be a lot of work a lot of work you're gonna be very very busy mm. congratulations I just saw the future for the Libra and the future is very bright so if you want me to help you manifest it let me know I'll, I'll energize the Sri Yantra for you and make sure there are certain things that you shouldn't do this eclipse it's down there in manifestation masters I'll see you again